this is a list of every Goku at every level, and we have him from when he's a baby, all the way up to Ultra Instinct, and at the top here, Stronger Than Goku. The question is, who is Stronger Than Goku? First up here we have Avatar Aang, and Avatar Aang is, is not getting past Teen Goku. Avatar State, and even in his prime, even when he's in his 30s, 40s, when he's really powerful, he's not touching Teen Goku. Next up here is Galactus. Galactus is uh, Ultra Instinct. I've never seen a Galactus thing in my life. Ultra Instinct. Next up is this toaster. I'm not sure why this is here, but we'll put that stronger than Goku. Next up is Timmy Turner. Timmy Turner, with his fairies, maybe he could do something, but without, without his fairies, I don't see the fairies in this photo, so maybe baby Goku. That, that, that seems about fair. Uh, next is Forearms. Forearms can jump really high. He can jump high, and he can punch hard, but so can Kid Goku. I think Kid Goku is, yeah, that's a good level for him, Kid Goku. Next up is Batman. Uh, Batman has beaten stronger guys than Kid Goku, so I, I, you gotta respect Batman a little bit, and we'll bump him up to Teen Goku level. Uh, next up is Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man, man, if you put Batman in Teen Goku, you might have to put Spider-Man here as well, because Spider-Man at least has some kind of powers, uh, but I, do, I just don't see Spider-Man getting past Kid Goku. I, I really don't. Um, you know, maybe early Kid Goku he gets past, but I think we'll respect Spider-Man. We can respect Spider-Man. Next up is Deadpool. We'll put him. We'll put Spider-Man in, in, in Teen Goku. That, that sounds. That's fair. Next up is Deadpool. Deadpool's. Um, Deadpool can regenerate from basically anything, so you'd need a really powerful blast. Saiyan Saga Goku seems about fair. Next up is Charizard. In the first episode of the series, I think Kid Goku smacked the pterodactyl with his power pole, and it, it, it killed it. So I think Charizard... Uh, I don't think Charizard's getting past Kid Goku. Uh, next up is Shinichi from Parasite. Shinichi... I think the biggest feat Shinichi did was jump three meters into the air. So I think, uh, yeah, Kid Goku's Kid Goku's about fair. Uh, Buzz Lightyear, I don't know why he's on here. SpongeBob and Patrick, I don't know why that's on there either. That's weird. Lightning McQueen, now you may think this is crazy, but Lightning McQueen goes 200 miles an hour. That's faster than Kid Goku did, for a while at least. And if he rams into Goku at full speed, and remember, Goku, I mean, he could pick up a car, but barely when he's a kid. If, he, if Lightning McQueen just smacks into Goku at full speed at 200 miles an hour when he's not expecting it. I think he takes Kid Goku, but uh, I, I'll, I'll put Lightning McQueen at Kid Goku level. It's it's better than it's better than Buzz Lightyear. Uh, next up is the Joker. Nah, Joker's not getting past Kid Goku. Light Yagami. I don't know why people put Light Yagami on these versus battles. Like Light Yagami, even if he wrote Goku's name in the book, Goku isn't human. So it wouldn't do anything. Uh, a creeper from Minecraft. Uh, baby Goku, maybe baby or kid Goku level, I think. Itachi from Naruto. I'll put Itachi at Saiyan Saga. I think I think Itachi could take out most of these early versions of Goku, but Saiyan Saga, he doesn't stand a chance. Next up is Mario with the star power up. Mario with the star power up is not invincible. Mario with the star power up has died in pits. So Goku would need to be at a level to where he can create one of these big pits that just needs to go boom explosion pit and then Mario has to jump in it and that's how Goku wins and he could do that in the Saiyan Saga honestly uh, next up is Universe 12 God Universe 12 God is probably stronger than Goku but uh, it's weird because it's in his own it's in Dragon Ball like that's in Dragon Ball so I don't it's weird next up is the Incredibles the Incredibles aren't getting past Teen Goku yeah, Teen Goku. Next up is Mewtwo Y. Mewtwo Y is one of the most powerful Pokemon. If you put Charizard down here, I'd put Mewtwo Y at Saiyan Saga level, Goku. Yeah, but he wouldn't get past. Freezer Saga's a bit too much, honestly. Saiyan Saga Goku can blow up planets. I'm not sure what how strong this version of Mewtwo is, but it is one of the most powerful Pokemon. I just think Saiyan Saga Goku would absolutely tear him apart. Next up is Omni-Man. Omni-Man, when you first saw this guy, you thought maybe this guy could beat Goku because the Omni-Man is like a version of Goku if he was a sociopathic guy who never hit his head. 
but he's not getting past Frieza Saga Goku. And that's because in the final ending scene of that Omni-Man show, or the Invincible show, Omni-Man couldn't beat a giant squid. Goku was dealing with that when he was a kid, so maybe, you know, he can fly and punch fast, but Omni-Man can't shoot energy beams, he can't do any kind of crazy key manipulation or anything like that, but he is very strong. I put him Frieza Saga Goku. Maybe as the story, this new Invincible show keeps coming out, maybe he'll become more powerful and work his way up these ranks, but uh, yeah, for now, I'll put him in Namek Saga, Frieza Saga level, Goku. Next up is Thanos, and you gotta respect Thanos and put him at Ultra Instinct level. Again, I don't think they're beating Goku. Maybe some versions of them where they change reality, but in like a fight, and in the versions that we saw in the movies, Ultra Instinct Goku wins. Pretty easily as well. Next up is Venom and Carnage together. Venom and Carnage together would be a challenge for Teen Goku. I mean, yeah, Saiyan Saga Goku, they wouldn't get close to Saiyan Saga Goku, and I really don't even think they would get close to Teen Goku. Um, yeah. Next up is Kevin Eleven. Kevin Eleven's really weak. I don't know why he's why he's on here. Next up is Fire Lord Ozai. If you put Aang down here, Fire Lord Ozai would have to be in Kid Goku tier list. Next up is Pokemon Trainer Red. And if you put Charizard in Kid Goku level, Red has a trained Charizard, a Blastoise, a Pikachu, a Venusaur, a Snorlax, and I think a Lapras or an Espeon, depending on which version. So you'd probably you'd probably put him in a teen you'd probably put him in teen Goku level. I'd put him in teen Goku level for sure. Uh, Zaheer from Avatar. Zaheer from Avatar, I, lo I like Zaheer, I, I do, but I'll put him in Team Goku level. Because he can fly, and Kid Goku can't fly. Next up is every character from Naruto. It really, we really are at the level where we have to use every character from Naruto. Uh, Cell Saga maybe, Goku could take out every character from Naruto. He could solo the verse by the Cell Saga. I think so. Next up is the Fantastic Four. Uh, we'll put we'll put them at Saiyan Saga level. Superman. There are some versions of Superman, obviously, that are stronger than Goku, but the main versions of Superman that we see, that most people see in the movies or even in the Justice League, Buu Saga Goku or even God Goku beats. I'll put him in God Goku level because. Of course, there are versions of Superman that would destroy Goku, but they're reality-bending, like, niche versions of Superman that no one really looks at ever. The versions of Superman that people look at are Man of Steel, the Justice League, and I think God Goku would take that easily. Speaking of the Justice League, here's the Justice League, and I, I put the, on the similar level here because God Goku, if he takes down Superman, the rest basically crumble. Of course, you've got the Flash and the Green Lantern that could maybe do something, but again, they're like niche versions that no one, they're like one-off versions that no one really sees ever. And like the, the base versions of, of Flash and Green Lantern, I think Goku takes, that we see in the Justice League at least. Next up is Amon. Could bloodbending work on Goku? I think yeah, for, the, for when he's a little kid, baby Goku, kid Goku, teen Goku. How many times have I, have I, have I said Goku in the last five minutes here? This is, wow. Um... By the Saiyan Saga, bloodbending wouldn't work. No, by the Freezer Saga, bloodbending wouldn't work. But in all it takes with a mine is one punch. Yeah, I'd put him in uh, Freezer Saga. Uh, next up is Rick Sanchez. Unironically, I think Rick Sanchez, the way he's written, would beat Goku. Not that he's stronger, but he's got a way better... Uh, just the way he's written, he just never loses. It's kind of like One Punch Man. Oh, and speaking of One Punch Man, we'll put One Punch Man at Ultra Instinct level. We'll actually put Rick Sanchez at Ultra Instinct level as well because it's just the way they're written is kind of like their jokes. One Punch Man is, uh, I feel like he would just scale to whichever version of Goku, like if the series of Dragon Ball Z ended at Cell, One Punch Man would just scale to this version of Goku, if they ever fought. He would just scale to whichever version of Goku where, was where the series is. And right now it's Ultra Instinct, so we'll put One Punch Man as a gag character on par with Ultra Instinct Goku. Uh, Avengers. I'd put the Avengers at Boo Saga, because they got Thor, Hulk could maybe do, I think, yeah, Boo Saga, maybe, maybe Hulk could, uh, and Thor could do something, but the rest, yeah, we'll put him in Boo Saga, we'll put him under the Justice League. Next up is the train from GTA 5. The train from GTA 5 is, it would take a real god to stop that. This is every Pokemon. Every Pokemon, including Arceus, gods, 
Um, Goku just needs to power up and it, he takes out 90% of the Pokemon population, but um, some of those legendaries that can survive in space like Arceus, Dialga, Deoxys, uh, yeah, I think Ultra Instinct, maybe they're even stronger than Goku because, but then again, Arceus loses to Magikarp under the right circumstances in battle. No, but I do think uh, Arceus, because just because of Arceus is a god, maybe, no, we'll put him in Ultra Instinct level. We'll put him in Ultra Instinct level just because Magikarp can beat Arceus, and if, if that can happen, could Magikarp beat Goku? No. No. This is meant to be 1 billion lions. 1 billion lions versus Goku. 1 billion lions would probably be like Saiyan Saga level Goku, honestly, because a hundred thousand lions would probably beat baby Goku. 500 million lions would probably kill Kid Goku and Teen Goku. A billion lions, you'd need uh, you'd need a lot of ki, which he has in the Saiyan Saga. So yeah, and finally we have Alien X, and I do think Alien X would beat Goku, because he could bend reality and time and, and go back to when he's a kid and, and beat Goku that way. That's how you beat Goku. So, in conclusion, it seems as though no one beats Goku. From rags to riches story, no one beats Goku. And that's that's just facts. This is a factual, uh, as factual as it gets, really. Um, let me know what you think. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.